Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt and Computer Help here with another Objective C tutorial. It's lesson three and I'm gonna be going over commenting and compound assignment operators. Now what exactly all will you be learning in this lesson? Well I'll be teaching you how to comment in your code, teaching you that you have to use the right string modifier, and I'll be teaching you about compound assignment operators. Now the first thing is commenting. Now there's two ways to comment. The first is probably the one that you'll use most often. It's just two forward slashes. And that's to tell about like what you've been doing in your code, why you declared this variable, a float instead of an inch, or stuff like that. Then the other one is a forward slash and asterisk for the first line, and then the second line is an asterisk and then a forward slash. And now that's multi-line comments, and a lot of times that use that's used for taking out pieces of code that you don't need to use. So if there's a section of code that you just want to see how the program runs without it, this is what you'll use because you're not actually deleting it. And remember, be very descriptive in your comments because you may not remember why you did this a week or even a few days later. Now, you have to use the right string modifier. If you declare a variable as an int and then you use, you change it to a float, you have to change the string modifier from percent i to percent f also. Now there's also different ways to display a float. As you can see I declared a as a double and then I assigned it uh, 4.2 and then I put this e1 after it and you may be like whoa what's that? Well if you look at the red it um, 4.2 equals 4.2 and then 4.2 e1 it actually moves the decimal point back one so it increases the number and then 4.2 e minus 1 e, um, it actually moves the decimal point forward 1 so it decreases the number so it now equals 0.42 and then uh, specify the significant digit you choose how many decimal points are after the number by putting that number if you want 3 you put percent 0.3 f before the string modifier so double a equals 4.2 then nslog a equals percent 0.3 f and then a now what it'll be is 4. Point, it'll be 4.200 0, 0, because we told the compiler that we want three decimal points after the significant digit now we'll be heading into X to xcode to try out what we've learned Okay, so now we're in Xcode. So here comes the fun part. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change these integers to floats. And as you can see, the auto suggestion comes up. And then you just hit enter to accept the suggestion. Now I'm just going to compile it here real quickly. And as you see, it's like what in the world? How did it all how did it get all these big numbers? Well, because you may said there was a float but you only used the integer string modifier. That's why it came up with those. So you have to change these to percent %f's. Now I'm also going to now do a little commenting. Just going to comment this out because we don't really need that and we actually don't need this line, these these two lines. So I'm going to do a multi-line comment. It comments everything until you end the multi-line comment. So there we go. Now I'm going to build and run again. Save all and there we go it looks like it should now I'm gonna just delete this part right here and I'm gonna sign this 3.5 then B will be 3.5 E1 and then C will equal or will be 3.5 E minus one and we're just gonna add a little ns log 
C equals percent F C. Now we're gonna build and run it. Save all. And there we go. The first one, as you can see, A, it equals the same thing. Then E, it moves the decimal back one to increase the number. And then minus one, it decreases the number by moving the decimal uh, position forward. Now there's also that thing that I showed you. You could say um, how many significant or how many decimal points you want after the significant digit. Right here, 3.5. I'm going to change, since it's A, I'm going to change it in the nslog function, 0.3, and then build and run, save all, and as you can see, there's only three decimal points after the significant digit right there because we specified it in the string modifier. Now we're going to head back into the keynote and learn the rest of the lesson.